What's up guys, Austin here at The Vault. Today I'm back with another unboxing and product review. Today I'm gonna be unboxing and showcasing the dialed box. Basically this is a hardware kit for pretty much any scooter out there. It's a good thing to keep in your backpack. It's gonna have all these bits and pieces that you do need for your scooter, the replacement parts. There are two variants. There is the SCS and then there is the HIC. So I'm gonna start out with the SCS. I'm gonna take out everything that's inside show you guys what exactly you're gonna get with this. There's a piece of tape on each side. So, just cut it like that and there you are. So, I'm gonna take out everything in here. I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you guys what you get. All right, you guys, so we're back. I took out everything that comes in the SCS dial box. Now, let's get into exactly what some of these are. Starting from here, I have some headset spacers. Headset spacers are for SCS compression in case your fork is longer. It does come with a 10 millimeter headset spacer and two five mils, just in case you do need them all or you only need one. It's not a bad thing to have some extras. Moving along with some Allen wrenches, you're getting a four, a five, and a six millimeter Allen wrench. For the most part, that's all you're gonna need on a scooter, which is good, so you're gonna get all of them there. You're gonna get six different sizes in axles, along with nuts for those axles. So no matter pretty much what size your deck is or how wide it is, you're gonna be able to have a replacement axle, which is a lifesaver. And they do come with some lock nuts as well. These are M8 clamp bolts. So these are gonna fit in those Affinity SCSs, the Root Industries SCSs, Tilt SCSs, Tilt clamps. They're bigger. They take a six millimeter uh, head, not a five mil. Speaking about five mils, these are the M6 clamp bolts. They come in a few different sizes, but it takes a five millimeter bolt, kind of a classic. So if you have a clamp that takes those, you have plenty of replacements which is a nice thing to have along with a big one. You could probably even use this thing as an axle if you really wanted to. Right here we have some compression caps. These are what go in your SCS along with a bolt to compress it down into your fork. And these are paper thin spacers. These will go under your dust cover to prevent your dust cover from rubbing on either A, the bearing, or B, the deck. Moving along here, we have a couple star nuts. We have one star nut for your bar in case you are running ICS. You can see there's a pretty dramatic size difference here. And another star nut for your fork. I believe this is a seven, eight, seven eighths. I could be wrong, but this will pretty much fit any fork out there. It does come with three replacement brake bolts. Everybody out there strips brake bolts. Right here we have two different size spacers, and these are for your deck. So these, if you have a deck that has very, very, very thin spacers or needs it, you can use these. You could use these on your axles if you need to fill up a gap. These are a little bit bigger ones, just in case you need a bigger gap. And then these are the classic sized deck spacers. The last thing, or one of the last things that does come with, these are basically, for instance, if you have a TSI Paramount deck, this is gonna act as a nut. But in some cases, this can lock into your deck, so you won't need to use a wrench to tighten an axle in. So for instance, this axle would go through your deck, this guy would sit on the other, and then you would be able to tighten it because this guy would be getting blocked by your deck and then you won't need to use a wrench. All you would need is the six millimeter on wrench that comes with the dial box. This won't work for every deck, but in some cases your deck will work. If not, it's not a bad thing to have. Maybe you have a friend who needs one. I got plenty of friends who need them, so. All right, the last thing you do get is a male part of a male to female axle, just in case you do need one. It doesn't come with the female, but it does come with the males, just in case you do need one of these. Dial box has got you covered. So that was the SCS dial box. This whole thing is pretty much distinguished for uh, SCS riding. If you're riding SCS compression, these are pretty much things that you may come across that you need, along with extra parts like axles, Allen wrenches, deck spacers. It's not even something to think about, man. Pick one of these up for 20 bucks, throw them in your backpack. You never know, you could save somebody's life at a skate park. They could be trying to get that clip, break an axle. They need Allen wrenches. They might need a headset spacer. Dude, you, you're gonna be the guy with all the extra parts. Let's move on to the HIC. So now I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the SCS box. So this is the HIC dialed box. You can tell there's not too many uh, things that are different compared to the SCS. So we can briefly go through everything, but the big changes are from the SCS to the HIC is this guy does come with a HIC compression shim. This is the thing that you would slide over your fork. For instance, take your bolt slide it through, and then that would compress down into your fork. 
allowing you to run HIC. This one does not come with uh, headset spacers because on HIC you're not gonna be running headset spacers. That's why the SCS one gets it. One of the other differences between the HIC and the SCS is this one comes with four sizes of deck spacers compared to three on the SCS. And this one, you get kind of an in-between sized spacer. So this is the average size deck spacer. This is kind of like an in-between. Still gonna get your three brake bolts. So I just looked these up. They're actually called speed nuts. It's a toolless nut. Like I said before, they won't necessarily work with every deck, but it's made so it can catch onto your deck and you won't need to use a wrench. You're still gonna get a four, a five, and a six millimeter Allen wrench with the HIC, just like the SCS. You get seven axles, not six. So you're gonna get another, you're gonna get two of this size. I don't know exactly what size that is, but I'm sure it's a very common size along with the nuts. So you get seven axles, but six nuts. Hey, I'm not like a genius, but this math isn't adding up. And in this one, you get one paper thin headset spacer, but on the SCS, you get two. Illuminati. <laughs> so you're still gonna get all the M6 clamp bolts from short to long, along with, wait, what? Only two M8 bolts? Is it because it's HIC and you're only gonna need a double clamp? That would make sense. You're still gonna get the male part of a male to female axle, just in case you need a replacement, one of those. And you're still gonna get your two star nuts, one for a fork, one for a bar, and you get the handy dandy reusable box that you guys can store all this stuff in and keep in your backpack just in case you go to the skate park. Like I said, they're $20, $19.99. You get all these components that you can keep with you just in case you break apart, your friend needs it, your, your friend, I don't know. Anybody needs it, your friend, your friend's friend, your grandma's friend, anybody who rides a scooter is gonna need these parts. And instead of having to roll down to the vault, you can't see the vaults right there, and getting these parts replaced, you can have these in your backpack for yourself and conveniency is what you need and this is convenient. Conveniency? Is conveniency a word? Hensing. Hensing. <laughs> These things are gonna come in handy. We highly recommend you guys pick up one of them. Dialbox is a great company starting up and I'm sure they're gonna release maybe a hardware kit for IHC, ICS, who really knows. Their Instagram is right here if you guys wanna go follow them. Shameless plug, great company. That was their website. That's their, <laughs> Instagram is right there, shameless <laughs> plug. Go shoot them some vault love. They're a great company. That was the dial box unboxing and product review. Until next time, you guys, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next time.